off to Carlton County this morning, where there are four bridges, I guess. Once again, I'm taking the car ferry. It's a foggy start to the morning. It's supposed to clear and be sunny and hot later in the day. Probably would be less mileage if I went by highway and, and uh, crossed all those border crossings that you have to cross, but I find the car ferry ride so relaxing and I enjoy it so much in the summertime that I I might drive a few more miles this way, but I enjoy it. This is Benton, or Eel River number three, on the Eel River. First time I've ever been to the Eel River. It's not much wider than a good sized stream, but there are a lot of children here. Their parents are here watching them as well, swimming in the river. It was built in 1927. It's 107 feet long, or 33 meters. I've been about four hours getting here, but that was just me poking along. I stopped and bought a sandwich and then stopped again, had my lunch on the side of the road, that sort of thing. Well, we'll drive through and then the next stop is Heartland, and Heartland has the world's longest covered bridge. I've been there before, but it's been a number of years since I've seen it. upon it so fast I didn't get a chance to stop anywhere so this is the Heartland covered bridge the longest covered bridge in the world arriving at Heartland <laughs> on the left I think we've already arrived can't even get this all in on wide angle I guess. That's the Heartland covered bridge. It goes over the St. John River. Just drove through it on the way to this little park. And it is 1,282 feet long, which is 391 meters. And it was built in 1921. noticed when I was driving across it that uh, the deck that you're driving on inside is now um, asphalt paved. I guess the second one that I've been across that was, one I wasn't sure if it was pavement or, or uh, concrete, but second one that didn't have a wooden floor. But what you're seeing along the side of it that sort of looks like little window openings is a pedestrian way uh, that goes the whole length of it and, and that is open so you can see the view of the river I guess. This vantage point from the other side sort of gives you a better idea of the scope the length of the thing. Maybe I'll show you some potatoes next, you never know. Carlton County is potato growing country. I've already driven by many large fields of potatoes but I've been on major highways where I really couldn't get any footage.
Well, it's just arrived at the Ellis or North Beckaguimic River Bridge. I think I pronounced that right. Not a name that I've ever seen in print or heard pronounced before, but it's, I'm sure it's one of the First Nations names for the river. And in this area, that's probably the Maliseet. Well, it's a short little bridge, 63 feet 19 meters, built in 1909. And as I said, it's the Ellis Bridge over the Beccaguimic, is my pronunciation of the name of the river. I'm probably butchering that. But it seems to be a shallow river. I can hear it running down around the bend there. There may be some white water down there somewhere. very shallow here. I don't know if it's canoeable in some places or not, but here you'd probably have to portage or take the bottom out of your canoe. And we'll move on to Florenceville. I haven't shown you the potatoes that I spoke about. I haven't been up here in years. It's still potato country. I'm seeing lots of potatoes. But I'm seeing, I think, a lot more corn than potatoes. I don't know whether that's all animal fodder or if they're growing corn for the ethanol market, for the gasoline additive. I suspect that's probably what it is because there's vast acreages of corn being grown here. Well, I don't know how well this will show or how well you can hear me in the rain, but we're into potato country here now. Uh, just in front of me there, that's a large field of potatoes. There's another highway, and those hills way off in the distance, those are all covered with potatoes. And the same thing in this direction. Immediately in front of me is a field of hay, alfalfa or something, but just beyond that is potatoes, and the other side of those trees on the hilltops is potatoes. We're probably looking at close to 100 acres of potatoes here right now. These people have not gone into corn anyway. They're making your french fries for you. Then I take a few clips of the scenery along the highway on the way to Florenceville to see the last covered bridge of the day. See the big cloud heads making up. We're supposed to get some rain overnight and tomorrow, but it isn't supposed to amount to anything too, too much. Five millimeters, I guess, in, in 24 hours. up is where you enter the wooden section. Well, find a place where you can get a better look at the thing anyway. That is strange. I'd like to know the story behind it and the notes that I have here that I printed doesn't explain it. But it was built in 1906. It's 154 feet long, or 47 meters. And it's over the St. John River. Which is why it's as wide as the, the one at Heartland. The St. John River is a, a, a major wide river, but surely this did not start life this way. It must have been a covered bridge the whole way across at one time. 
Well, that concludes this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching and uh, headed back home.